you you know about uh, you you know about the situations that's that's going on with uh, with Uber right now. You you know about uh, you didn't you say you didn't see it, but you you knew the situation with that young lady attacking the Uber driver and all like that. Ryan Little. <laughs> Yeah, she 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 didn't want to. She he didn't want to accept the you know accept the ride. Well, he accepted the ride, but you know he told her that she had to get out because she ain't had no mask on. Right? He's he's in he's in the right position. That's his right. This is right to do that, right? Yes. So if you was in that same situation, God damn it, man, I hate this traffic. Um, if you was in that same situation, what what you would have done if if she would have put her out? I would have put her out as well. Nobody get in my car without a mask. Uber don't own my car. I own my own car. Mm -hmm. I make the rules in here as far as uh, uh, as far as wearing masks. Mm -hmm. And I'm definitely nobody getting in my car without a mask. And she wouldn't have snatched mine off. Mm. Now she tried to snatch. Well, she she was snatching his phone. Mm -hmm. No, I like that. And I and I, I if that was me, cause I did Uber. You know, in Cleveland, the inaugural. So I, I was like one of the first guys to do it when the money was good. <laughs> when the money was good, I was doing at least about a dollar fifty, dollar uh, dollar fifty, dollar forty. Um, I'm not sure how much it is now. I'm, I'm sure it's probably a lot less now. But, um, but. You, you, you in the Chicago land area, you know, before, you know, before I turned this on, you did mention something about, you know, that the Chicago land area is kind of, is kind of bad for you guys too. Yeah, because there's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of people carjacking, uh, folks getting beat up. A young man got shot back here in February. Mm -hmm. He's paralyzed for the rest of his life. Uh, over somebody trying to jack his car. It's just a bunch of nonsense, you know. Robbery, robbery, a lot of stuff. So you have to make a choice whether you want to drive in the city of Chicago or not. Mm -hmm. And I choose not to drive in the city of Chicago. I drive out, you know, I take people to the airport. I take people downtown. I take people into Chicago. I just don't pick no rides in that Chicago. Gotcha. That's, 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 that was my thing at one point. You know, like I said, when... Uh, I, I I came across guys that was disrespectful. I came against uh, against guys that that thought that they was entitled. You know, they get in the car and they start talking to me any kind of way. Like, yo, bro, like, yo, you you, you gotta go, my G. <laughs> Come on now, no, I'm not getting out. I, I paid, no, no, no. You 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 gotta go, my man. I, we 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 can't be having that in my, especially in my car. <laughs> you know. I've, I've had two incidents like that, but I they got out. Uh, one guy I had waited on at the Harry Carrier's. I got there early. I sat and I waited for t almost 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Then I let him know I was there. And uh, he said, okay, I'll be out in five minutes. Mm -hmm. Five minutes go by, then come out. Ten minutes go by, and then go out. So I text him again. Let him know that I would be leaving if he went out in five minutes. Mm -hmm. So he go, okay, okay, I'll be out. Finally came out to get in the car. He didn't say anything. He just got in the car. And uh, I stopped pulling off. I stopped taking off. He, you know, he started cursing. So I thought he was on the phone. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said, you hear me talking to you? Like so and so. I said, are you talking to me? So, yeah, I stopped the car right there. We're not going nowhere. You can get out. He, he, he. I'm not getting out of nowhere. I now let me. You gonna get out? So I got out, walked to the other side of the car, opened the door, <laughs> and said, "Now you got, you got two choices." <laughs> so ain't nobody gonna rule what I, what I paid for. <laughs> you told, <laughs> you, you said this man got two choices, yeah. <laughs> and you said make sure that one choice is a good choice. You can get out voluntarily. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> you, 
You said you got. You said my. You, yo, my man, you got two choices, my J. You you can either you can either get out or you can get pulled out. Oh man, so he man. Got out and uh, you know, slammed my door. Mm -hmm. and, uh, knocked a little rub off the door. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I called Uber. Uber paid for it. Back. Now, with 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 all the issues that's that's especially that's going on in a in a in a, in the Chicagoland area, um, again, how do you guys, how do you, how are you able to vet us? Like, there's no way to actually like how we know what car you coming in. We we know who you are and all like that, but. How are you guys are able to vet us? Well, that's the, that's the problem we have. See, Uber is not doing a good job of, of how to let us know. Just like like you all know who's picking you up. Right. We need to know who we're picking up. Oftentimes, they get a you know it'd be a lady's name, and it's two guys you're picking up. You right. Know what I'm saying. So right. I don't know anything about how to deal with that. So. My thing is, you try to just take care of yourself. I don't allow anybody to ride behind me, you know, on my side. Right. So, yeah, I did that. That's how I was. I, I never, I, I don't know. It's just, I, I just feel, feel so funny about that. Yeah. You know? I, I mean, I can see you. See what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. back here, I can't see you on that side. Exactly. So, I don't allow anybody to ride back there. If it's three or four people, uh, if it's four people, I tell them they got to get another Uber because I don't have enough room. I don't, nobody rides up here. How, that's what I was about to ask you. How, how do you feel about people uh, riding in the front nobody seat? Riding in my front seat. No. Because you know you don't want to have any confrontation with anybody. Mm -hmm. and, uh, that's it. Then I had another incident. I only had a couple since I've been driving almost four years. Oh, you been doing you've been doing this for four years. Yeah. Now is this? Now let me ask you something. Is is this just a, a, a part-time gig yes, for you? Strictly part-time. I'm retired. It's strictly part-time. Okay. This is just something just to get you out of the house exactly. type deal. Oh, okay. It makes an extra cash. That's it. Okay. 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 So this ain't it's this not this like ain't nothing not. serious. No. Like how some of these guys actually no. uh, post up and do uh, about five, six, seven hundred, eight hundred dollars a day. No. Is it now? Let me ask you this: In your opinion, is it possible, especially in the Chicagoland area, is is it possible to 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 generate that that amount? It's possible. I don't know if anybody did it, but it's possible. You know, okay. uh, if anybody wants to drive. But right now, so much stuff been happening in Chicago, uh, they can't hardly get enough drivers. Uh, mm. You know, because a lot of people just refuse to drive in Chicago, mm. so they pay extra money. For people to drive in Chicago, mm. you in Chicago, they like to get a ride and it pop up and say they paying you eighteen dollars for this ride or mm -hmm. ten dollars for this ride and it's only you know right around the corner or something. But because they can't hardly get nobody, people you know. I think what well, a couple weeks ago, a lady I ride about four, two fourteen year old girl mm -hmm. got a car jack. Mm. You know, they put a knife around her neck. It's scary. I mean, it, yeah. it, it, it's 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 scary for something that supposed to, you know, that's supposed to help. I mean, right. you know, I mean, like I said, you know, I, in the beginning, I, I in the beginning, I wasn't a fan. I, you know, I, I, you know, I'm like, you know, when I when I first heard of Lyft and and Uber, I'm like, man, ooh, no, I don't want no stranger in my car, but. But when I when I came on and of course I seen that you know seeing the money, you know I was like oh, okay. But then I started I started peeping out how people acting in my car and I'm like yo you yeah, know you we, we, we control, can't. You have to be in control of your own car. You know what I mean by that is when people are acting stupid, you got a choice to make. Mm -hmm. You gotta let them ride or you just best to terminate the ride right then and there. Mm -hmm. done with it, you know? Because if you let it go on, you know, a friend of mine, he, two guys got to fight in his car in the back seat. Mm -hmm. Of course, he couldn't stop them, you know. And they just would kick the seat, broke his seat. Tur yeah, turn up, turn up his car yeah, because right. what? They was drunk. They would, they would love him, I guess. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Somebody, and I see they don't look right. I 
this time in that garage. Say, hey, I, <laughs> You try to beep him out like, yo, uh, nah, we, no, no, nah, nah, I'm all right. Well, wait, wait, no, no, we, we, we good. We're going to try to avoid issues before an issue before, even happens. Before it even happens, yeah. Before it yeah, even happens. Guys, they walk around in big sweatshirts on in the summertime? Yeah, that's, that's a tale. I'm not, not, I'm not picking them up. That's yeah, that, good. that's a tale right there. That, that's, that's a tale. I one guy I picked up, this is out here too. Sure. I picked him up in the barn, and uh, I didn't know he had a gun on him. I had no idea. Mm. But he had got into it with somebody at the barn, mm -hmm. and uh, people at the barn had called the police. They called the police. So when he, he got in my car, I'm thinking I'm just taking him, you know, drop him off at home. Mm -hmm. Cops were riding my car in, mm. and they got me out the car. They handcuffed me. What? They questioned me. I told them, look, I'm a Uber driver. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they handcuffed me, you know, waited, you know, to, told me to wait in that car. I said, I can't get in that car. The seats are too close, you know? Right, right. I said, I can't get in there. So they let me lean up against the car while they handcuffed They searched my car. So the guy had a gun. You know? mm -hmm. And uh, they said, they, you know, they arrested him. They explained to me what, why they were stopping me because the guy had made a threat. Somebody in the bar with this with that gun, and uh, say they put it in your car. He has in that oh. seat pocket. Wow. In the car, and we found it. And I, I guess I guess the guy that they they pulled out of the back seat goes, "That's not my gun, right?" No, he, no, he told me. He told me when the police stopped me, he's "Oh man, I'm effed up." I said, "What's wrong?" He said, "I got a gun." I said, "You got what?" In the car. He said, I wow. Got a gun. He told me that. Oh, okay. So he was honest with yeah. you. Okay. You don't find too many of these, them these days. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they had a little weed and stuff on them too. So they didn't. But people get in your car, you don't know what they got. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know what the first person is when they get out of my car. I'm taking a chance. But if I know you got something, I'm not picking you up. Or if I feel like you got something, I'm not picking you up. You know, I thought this guy was just been drinking or something. But let me let, let me ask you this, my G. Why why do you know you 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 see situations like that, you know, played out on videos with people being you know being entitlement, you know what I'm saying? That think that they can just you know disrespect you, talk to you any old kind of way, and all like that. Why, why do you think why why do you think people feel that way? I mean. This this ain't your this ain't your car. You mm -hmm. you should be you should be happy that somebody is 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 willing to let you in their car. You know. Well, you got you know you deal with all kinds of people, so you got to be able to scope them out. Like sometimes people get in my car, they don't say a word. They don't say good morning, good afternoon, hey, how you doing? Nothing. They don't say nothing. I just get in the car. People like that I just keep my eyes on. I, I give them a ride, but I keep my eyes on. When they get out of the car, sometimes they'll say thank you. And when they say thank you, I don't say nothing. <laughs> I don't say a word because you couldn't acknowledge you. my car and acknowledge me. So why would I say something to you while right. you're getting out? But you got those kind of people. And then you got people that get in your car and they're really genuine people. You know, they really appreciate you picking them up. And, uh, you know, because they understand that you can cancel. You don't have to pick them up. You can accept the ride and then turn around and cancel the ride. Mm -hmm. Go pick them up. You're your own boss in this thing, you know. And so, uh, but you got all kinds of people. You know? so I went to Indiana last night taking somebody to Gary, Indiana. Mm. And the, the guy, he got in the car. He didn't say nothing at first. Uh, we got almost there and then he started talking. Mm -hmm. And he goes, man, I'm sorry. He said, I, I just thought about it. I got in the car. I didn't say nothing, you know, he's, but I, I, I wanted to, you know, I'm going to let him know, I apologize for that. Because right. I got a lot on my brain, you know, I said, well, I can understand that. That's that's understandable, you know. See me, I you know, I'm not as you know. Well, before I got into uh, you know into my into my talk show because you know I got a talk show on uh, on YouTube, the Lockout Man Podcast Show. Um, <laughs> before beforehand, I, I I wasn't too much of a talker. I mean, you know, you got in the car, you say hi to me, I say hi to you, and 
you know, my, my, uh, my, my objective is to get you from point A to point B. And that's, and that's about it. You know, there's, let's, let's, you know, no, no small talk needed. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no small talk needed, but like if a female get in the car, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Female get in the car, then yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try to, I'll try to engage with her, you know, to, you know, to a certain extent. Well, but, uh, I'm but. I won't, you know, I don't bother females because. Oh. People tell, a female will tell a lie in a minute. In a minute. You know? Well, see, this, like I said, this is in the beginning. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is when, this is when it was all fresh. It was all new. And everybody was, you know, every, back then, everybody was nice. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was nice. They was happy. It, it was something different. Then you know, getting in a smelly ass cab with, with you know, with, with with a cab driver that's trying to you know jack you and all like that. You know, this was something different, something open, something casual. You know, hey, how you doing? Yada yada yada. But yeah, but now you know, fast forward to, you know, now where talking to a female would get you like hemmed up. You know what I'm saying? I picked up a young lady in Joliet, and she gets in the car, and she don't have a mask on, so I said, man, you got to have a face cover. Mm -hmm. So she mm -hmm. sits there. I said, you have to have a face cover, but we're not going anywhere without it. Right. So she said, oh, okay, and she said she's going to be able to buy it. And I, I, so I looked at her, and I started not to take her, but I thought I'd just tell her, and she said, no, get your mother right, your attitude is right. Right. But I went on to take anyway. Mm -hmm. On my way there, she obviously texted Uber, making a complaint against me. What? Saying that I had an opposition her and I did this, I did that. What? On the, on the way. So as soon as I dropped her off, I got contact by Uber. Uh huh. And uh, I called, they asked me, you know, said that the lady said I had a problem. I've been married 44 years. I'm 70 years old. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't have, if, even though if I was that type of person, she wouldn't have been my tip cup of tea. Mm -hmm. And I said to him, to the Uber, now you all got a choice. You can take her word or take mine. Uh, if you don't want me to drive anymore, I won't. He said, no, 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 we're going to check it out. So they called me back the next day. Mm -hmm. they, they, they surrendered me that night. I couldn't drive no more that night. Wow. So the next day they called me back and told me that the lady had made several pl complaints like that to other drivers. And so they were gonna block her, you know. Oh, uh, she tried so she was a serial. Yeah. Trying to get trying to get you guys in trouble for right. no reason. And so uh, then they told me, you know, I told them, no, I'm not driving this week. And I didn't, I didn't drive on that week. How let me ask you this, like I and I know, you know, Uber said same thing about the about the young lady that you know that assaulted the one driver yeah we 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 don't have her on the we we don't have her on the platform no more she can't use the platform but how can you block that you you can block the name but you can just easily get another account, get another account. Right. and that's what they do and like i you know i wrote a thing to uber about uh you know, taking people work for without an investigation. Mm -hmm. Check it out first, you know. Check your drive out first. Put your confidence in your driver. He's driving this one that all the people. You take these people work for it, they get pissed off because they don't want to wear a mask. And that's all it was. The lady was upset because I wouldn't pull it off before she, uh, you know, put a mask on. Mm -hmm. So she, and then she called me now, you know. It's crazy. And then they need to do a better job protecting the driver. We got a group of support that you can't get in contact with. Mm -hmm. You know, and then when they do contact you, they want to do texting. You need to talk to somebody. Right. You know? That's that's what I, you know, back then we didn't even have, like, yeah. support back then. You know, we, 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 we would have to text them. And then we had to wait like 24 hours, yeah. well, and then we, you know, it it, it was it, it was cumbersome, like, you know. But then later on, you know, with the changes, they they had a, what do you call it, a representative. Yeah, but they don't they're no good because when you call them, they gonna say, well, 
well, we, we'll get back with you. It's just, you know, and, uh, they will, but it'll like, take two days. When you have an emergency, they tell you to dial 911. Mm -hmm. By the time a cop gets to where you are, you either dead, hurt, or you get a collins. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. So, if they don't want you carrying a weapon, move it on. They don't want you carrying a weapon to protect yourself. But I say this, Uber, they, you know, it's their company. This is my car. And I'm the boss of my car. Now see, this, this, this is where the blurred line comes into play. Yeah. Yeah. This, this is where the blurred line comes into play. Yeah. Uber got all these policies, but you're not, you're, you're not an employee with them. They cover everything except the person that's driving. Right. So, how is it possible for them to have a policy that's 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 weighed on you, and you're an independent contractor? Right. A couple of years ago, may, may not have been a couple of years now. Mm -hmm. a young lady in Chicago. Two guys were going to rob her. They thought, and she had a pistol. With her. So when they attempted, started to, she just pulled her gun out. Mm. And when she pulled her gun out, they got out of the car and ran. When somebody saw her with the gun, and not knowing the, you know, what had happened, called the police. Mm -hmm. the police came, they take her gun, and uh, they, you know, they had to report that to Uber. Mm -hmm. Well, Uber fired her, said she couldn't drive them over there. I wow. thought they were wrong because... First of all, she was in her car. Right. They don't know what was about to happen. Right. She prevented herself from being hurt. Exactly. Or killed. And they weren't about, you know, the gun. Come to my house, she had to, she was a concealed carrier. Mm -hmm. So she had a right to have the gun. But then Uber said that's against their policy, so they wouldn't let that. Wow. See, that's that's crazy. Yeah, they can do that to me if they want to. I wouldn't care. That's 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 crazy. So let's 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 talk about uh let's let's talk about how they how, how they pay now versus how they how they paid back in the day. Now when I when I drove, of course you know like I said before the money was good. Uh, the money was good. I you know I, it wasn't no problem doing you know about four five uh, airport runs at about a hundred dollars a pop. You know there and back. You know what I'm saying. And I would get, you know, I, I would get confiscated, you know, like on Friday or something like that. It would be, you know, back then it was like, you know, deposited. But now, uh, but now I, I heard from a few people that you guys can choose to either get paid the day of or y'all can like stack it and get paid at the end of the week. How, how do it work now? You can do that. You can do that. The problem with that is, if you stack it out like that, mm -hmm. people are constantly on the computers trying to get into your business or whatever. Mm. You get six, seven hundred dollars or a thousand dollars up there, and stack up there, you have to cash out. Somebody just get your account and snatch that money out of there. Mm. Now, the first, thing, the first time that can happen, Google would replace the money. But if it happens again, they won't do it. So you just work all week for nothing. Wow. So a lot of people cash out every day. I don't buy that option no more. You know, so right. I ain't worried about stacking the money. So, uh, so when, do I, you, when I make my money, I just cash out. So do you? So so do you know like? Like back then when I drove, I, I didn't know how much I made until after the ride. Like, same way. so it's still the same way. You you don't know how much you made until after the ride. Right. Yeah. Now even with like the person, well, as far as the person goes, back then when they calculated the ride, they the the person that got the uber like you know like like now i could see how much my ride gonna cost but back then the people couldn't tell how much they ride cost back then until after the ride and they usually get
sticker shock. You know what I'm saying? But uh, but now they they got it set so that we won't get sticker shock. Right. Is now, that? They know just how far it is from where you are. Right. Still, do you guys got surge out here or no? Yeah. Or they done away with that? Oh, they still got it. Yeah. So you could tell you you could tell on the map the hot areas right. where where the money's at. Okay. Yeah, you in the house. There's a lot of those. I, I had one. I had one that was teetering on throwing up, and I told him, I told him and his girl that they couldn't get in. That they was pissed. They was like, "But we, no, no." I've never had. So basically, uh, you know, for 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 you, my G, uh, and you know, shout out to you. And I, again, I appreciate you. You know, you know, picking me up and uh, taking me over here. Uh, but for you, you just you you just don't you you just don't do Chicago land. You go in it, but you definitely won't bring nobody else. You won't bring nobody out of it. Living out here all your life? No, 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 no. Thirty years. Thirty? All right. So thirty years ago, what what, what brought you up here to uh, Chicago, Illinois? No, I was already here. I've been here. Oh. I've been here for almost thirty years. Oh, okay. Michael Jordan fan? Yeah, I'm a <laughs> uh, but I, I, you know. How let me ask you this. Uh since the days of Michael Jordan, uh how how has Chicago changed uh since uh since the days of Michael Jordan? Because back then they back then, you know, you guys, you know, with Michael Jordan and the Bulls and everything, it was a good it, it was a good it was a good day to be a, a, a Chicagoan. How, how? Well, you know, you had, the, you had a good team. You had Michael, you had Scotty, you had uh, Rodman was there. Then, you know, I mean, you had, you had a pretty good setup for a winning team. Uh, but after those guys, when that was over, the team never got back going like it should. You know, Darren Rose came in. He did pretty good for a while, and then after a while, he kind of like, he definitely wasn't Michael Jordan. And uh, there hasn't been anybody else that would come close to uh, Michael Jordan on the Bulls team. So how, how did that affect, how, how did that, how do you think that affected Chicago, you know, the Chicagoans after, you know, after the, you know, after, after the team, you know, broke up and, and everything with, you know, with Chicago as a whole. I don't think it affects them that much. I think what happened is, for people like me my age, right, I think we just got disgusted with them, them losing. They, they just, they want something, you know what I'm saying? You mm -hmm. haven't been a winning team like that, you know, so I, I don't, they're not really my team now, you know what I'm saying? So I don't even know who on the team right now. <laughs> Break up the team. <laughs> like the Cubs. The Cubs won the World Series, right? 
and they 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 broke them up. Well, I got you know. I, hey, I appreciate you taking the time out to uh, chop it up with me. I, I've just got one more question, and it, you know, it's Uber related. Uh, as far as uh, as as far as everything that's going on uh, that's going on with Uber and all like that, would you uh, would you still like? Suggest people to still at least try it. Yeah, I will. Because you can't let fear stop you from doing what you want to do, what you enjoy doing. I enjoy driving. Mm -hmm. I just don't drive, and I pick my areas to drive in. But for me to just completely stop, I, I wouldn't do it because then that means you'll let the people that's uh, the brothers stop you from doing what you enjoy doing. And I think people should just drive if they want to drive, call Uber, lift, and ride. I think they should do it. Yeah. Well, you know what? Uber's a good thing. So I, 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 I think I, I think business is going to pick up with the uh, with the new Hard Rock opening up in Gary. Probably. So yeah. I think uh, I, I think business is going to pick up for you guys. So, yeah. but uh, but again, man. You know, thank you very much for hollering at me. You know what I'm saying? I, I really do appreciate it. I, I definitely wanted to get, you know, get an Uber driver's perspective on, uh, you know, on, on the stuff that's going on, you know, in Uberland right now. You know what I'm saying? So, well, Uber's providing a service. have to get some type of licensing uh like you know in new york they have to they they have to you know get uh get you know like taxi license or something no. like that do, do no. you guys are subject to that no we're not one mile keep left on the yeah, interstate one right mile west uber, now that uber uh You know, back then when I started, they gave us a phone. <laughs> yeah, they gave they gave us an iPhone way back in the day. They gave they gave us uh they gave us an iPhone, but yeah, but now you know just download the app and you know to you know just take it on uh take it on there. All right, uh, we are here or at least almost. Uh, I'm I'm heading over to Thrifty. I'm trying to get this. Yeah, I'm trying to get this car. Uh, trying to get this rental car. I, I called. I called everywhere else. I mean, if you know where the rental car spots is at, bro, that's that's where I'm going. Oh, what? Okay, good. Rental car return. Okay. Uh, rental rental car rental car picks up. Okay. Ryan Little. <laughs>